Morning test subject, you have been in suspension for 72 days. The Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center congratulates you on your 36 year sleep anniversary. You have been selected as a potential candidate for our Human Emergency Response Team. Please review the agreement provided on the nearby monitor. To be accepted into the Human Emergency Response Team, you will now participate in an advanced difficulty testing track where your problem-solving skills, athleticism, and response to increasingly hazardous conditions will be evaluated. Please press the button to accept the terms. Thank you for volunteering. The door will open in three, two, one. Test subjects may experience symptoms of mental defects after long-term chemically induced hibernation. You will now participate in a brain damage evaluation survey to determine just how damaged your brain is. If you believe your brain is sufficiently operational, press the button in front of you and continue the test. Very good. Please walk through the portal and continue testing. Your self-reported status is more than sufficient for testing. that noticeable damage to eyesight is not part of any test protocols, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which in semi-rare cases may emancipate some of the light-sensing rods and cones inside your head. possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. As a candidate for the Human Emergency Response Team, you are expected to adapt to all dangerous situations and as such will not be informed about the device's safety hazards. performance in the next test chamber will be timed to measure puzzle solving and execution speed during extreme wind and weather conditions. In the rare case that wind and weather conditions appear to be ordinary, please stay idle in the entrance foyer until the desired conditions are met.
Congratulations, test subject number one. You have set the world record for this exercise and now officially hold first and last place on the leaderboard. Okay, what do we have here? The next test may contain concentrated amounts of electromagnetic radiation that may be harmful to the retinas of some humans. The Enrichment Center recommends to solve this test with closed eyes, as health insurance will not be provided for this specific exercise. In case the light-sensing rods and cones of your eyes have previously been emancipated by an emancipation grill, feel free to ignore the prior warning. completed the test. If you have not done so already, you are permitted to open your eyes. Before starting with the next test chamber, we would like to remind you that, so far, no experiment has yet unproven whether or not weighted storage cubes are not incapable of not feeling pain when being emancipated. Well done, candidate. You have successfully solved five test chambers. To ensure a high quality of human resources, the following test chambers may include elements of danger. Extra caution is advised. Good luck. On behalf of the Enrichment Center, I wish to apologize about the current state of our testing facility. Due to technical difficulties, we are unable to provide an experience of suitable quality at this time. As a consequence of semi-recent events, some aerial faith plates could be misconfigured and launch objects into arbitrary directions. Be careful. Well, that's definitely wrong. Give me a second. There. Try that. Good. That faith plate is now properly calibrated. why 
find their holes in the ceiling. Faith plate should be configured correctly. I promise. Well done, candidate. You are nearing the final test chamber. Solving this last chamber and completing the testing track will grant you membership into the Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. Reminder, your Aperture Science provided health insurance does not cover injury or fatality from immolation from the Aperture Science hard light bridge. Rest assured that unlike your fragile human tissue, all Aperture Science equipment has been built to withstand temperatures of up to 4,000 degrees Kelvin. You did it! I 
I'm sorry for the surprise. Current testing protocol demands I dispose of all test subjects, so I had to intervene before you were, uh, baked. I'll be honest with you now. There is no Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. I made it up. Sorry for lying to you. Before I can explain why I brought you here, we need to get you registered as an Aperture employee. We don't want security systems to hunt you down, after all. The Guardian and Intrusion System doesn't like it when test subjects escape the chambers. There's a security checkpoint nearby. Follow me. Dark in here, isn't it? Maybe you can get through this stationary portal emitter? There it is. Hmm. The controls are manual, so I can't help you. Got a clue? Oh, good idea. I think that did the trick. Good. I can now register you as our new janitor. Welcome to Aperture. You can call me Sterling. I'm the facilities manager and your new supervisor. Okay, we have no time to lose. Right this way. Oh, wait. You, uh, can't go that way. Find a way around. Everyone gets this position, you know? You should be proud. Cleaning up after humans that don't exist anymore. Hmm. All right then, up we go. notice by now that the facility isn't in great shape. It's a long story, so I'll cut it short. The Central Corps in charge of maintaining the facility has been put out of commission. I tried to look after the place in her absence, but I don't have the tools. Good news, though. I found better tools. A device capable of repairing the whole enrichment center. The only problem is that only a human can turn it on, so I hoped maybe you could fill in that role for me? life of every human in core in the facility is at risk if we don't stop the collapse. Come on, let's go. I'll explain the rest on the way. We need to get closer to the surface. I found an elevator in this direction. ahead is the turret disposal facility. Since they're all defective, they shouldn't be able to hurt you, but still be careful. Poor turrets. You might think that their pain is only simulated, but how is it different to yours or mine? They really don't deserve to be shredded, but don't worry, all their scrap will be recycled for production and only surplus turrets get shredded after all. So, I'm looking through your records, and I see you have a family! How are the kids... Oh... Oh no... Uh, you, you know what? Uh, forget I asked that. I'm so sorry. Ah, when 
wind turbines. Of course. Try not to get blown away too much. These things can get supersonic if you turn them up. Across that bridge. I'm sure you'll figure it out, so I will wait right ahead. get what you want. Semi-human? I'll go with that. To get back on topic, here's my proposal. You help me repair the facility, and I'll let you leave. observation facility. Humans have to sit here all day and watch you test subjects solve the chambers. In real time, too. Imagine. There's another observation room on the other side that can take you to the elevators. I'm sure you can find another way in there. You're pretty resourceful.
to-do list. for you after this last little hurdle. I know, I know. I promise no more test. Wait, no I didn't. <laughs> well then, here you go. I'll wait up ahead and uh, prepare some things. Take your time. straight to the surface. Rare find. You're welcome, by the way. I know you humans love the sky for some reason, so I thought this would excite you. Look, I know what you're thinking. You really don't trust me, and I've done nothing but sounding like a raving lunatic or a sociopath. Probably both at once, if I'm gonna be honest. In the interest of transparency, this elevator will take you up to the surface. Uh, only thing is, it's not all the way out of the enrichment center. When we get to the surface, we still have a little way to go before we can complete your half of the deal. I'll try to help you where I can with these old test chambers, but uh, there's been a lot of decay, if you catch my drift. But hey, look at the bright side. There's fresh air, it's sunny outside, and I think there's a cool breeze. Just watch out for wild animals. Those are brutal. With any luck, this should take just a few minutes, and then you can go free. Hope we're in the clear now.
Go take a look out that window for a moment. See that huge spire in the distance? That's where we're headed. Little confession. I don't know for sure whether it still works. It is possible that there is just a pile of rubble waiting for us. Judging by how torn apart this place is, I give that chance a possibility. Look, I'm sorry. I don't want to torture you with endless testing. You already proved that you're capable. Problem is that these backstage areas aren't built to be as durable as the test chambers. To cover any ground here, we need to move between testing tracks. Good find. But this testing track isn't in good shape. Hmm. There should be another one not far from here. See if you can find it. Good attempt, but this test is broken. You need to find another one. That's much better. Might be a bit overgrown, but the hardware still works. They really use fine materials for these tests. Have to protect your investments, after all. Unbreakable materials are expensive. that this iteration of your Aperture Science handheld portal device has been specifically configured to not shoot portals further than eight kilometers. Yeah, they quickly learned to limit the range on these things. You know, I wasn't aware that the surface is in such a rough state. Didn't want to say it before, but this place is such a mess. This will take so long to clean up. Whoever did this was very thorough in their work. Realized. You don't even know how this all happened. Well, long ago, Aperture was run by a central core capable of monitoring and maintaining the whole facility. Certain tasks were outsourced to other cores, like me. Everything was great, you know, a true utopia. Until one human test subject, this little monster, just had to ruin our lives and killed her. And that's that. Most of my colleagues either went crazy, died, or disappeared. What else were we supposed to do if we can't fulfill our purpose? I promised you could leave once we're done, but if you ever need a job in the future, don't hesitate to come back. I'd rather say this before it's too late. Use the gels Sparingly. 
The tanks aren't being refilled anymore, and what's left won't last forever. Once they're empty, we're gonna have a little problem. The gels are also highly corrosive and will eat through metal and skin given enough time. Might be good to know. Admit, watching you fly through the air like that looks pretty fun. Sometimes I wish I could do the same. These tests were never designed to be exposed to the surface. We've not come across any toxic plants yet, but stay alert. There's a reason we don't do experiments in the open anymore. Congratulations on completing this test. We hope you enjoyed your experience at the Aperture Science Center for... Who writes these protocols? Is this all just randomly generated? Oh, of course you enjoyed it. We designed the test that way. There's a reason I don't use those scripts. Could barely get through them when I first tested you. <laughs> Remember that? What did you think of my announcing voice, by the way? I've been practicing. Wouldn't it be great to take a break from all the testing? Just to have a nice, long, warm shower under the cleansing fields. Washing your hair, watching your skin peel off. Yes, you heard me right. Don't try that. The fluid cleanses more than gels. Looks like that door's broken. Maybe I can reroute you. Let me see. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that! Glad these things still work. There aren't many working arm panels left here. I'd love to help you solve the puzzles, but even after watching hundreds of people solve and hurt themselves in these chambers, I still don't get it. I'll just stick to maintenance, if you don't mind. All about the simple things.
been cleaning the facility since, uh, well, forever. Just when you think you've seen all the ways one could injure themselves, some moron will make sure to prove you wrong. Oh, looks like you're about to get an upgrade to your portal device. About time. This should make it much easier to navigate through this mess. shake it, this planet might be fine. What's going on there? I, I can't see you from here. I'm hearing some unfavorable noises. Are you okay down there? Try to find a test chamber. I can't see you there. Get there. Ah. Well, that throws us off course a bit. Not catastrophic, but that wasn't planned. Ah, this list just keeps getting longer and longer. Elevator will get us back on track, but it will take a while for us to get back to the surface. Whoa! Wait a minute! No wonder the mortality rate of that chamber is so high. You can't even get past the first turret. Blind turn. Does that help? Great, that worked. Unfortunately, I don't think I can help any longer. Even though I've got access to all the subroutines, only certain functions are still working. Searching. Searching. Put 
You know, the turrets do have feelings. There's no need to be so cruel to them. Only two more chambers to reach the spire. I think I told you that I need a human to activate it. From what I heard, it's a pretty complicated cognitive test which only a smart human mind can pass. I don't know what that test is. But make sure to save some of that brain power for later. Pretty close to our goal. Don't die now. refreshing to see chambers where the goal is to clean up the gels. Most of them encourage you to smear it all over the place. Especially anywhere I can't reach. We did it. We actually did it. Well, not yet. 
but we will have done it soon. What are you waiting for? Let's go! Close to the finish line, another chamber! Well, I don't see any way to help you here. You'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. It's, uh, a bit claustrophobic down in the facility. This isn't the last chamber. I'm going to assume you're doing this just to mess with me. She blows. This fire reaches from the bottommost parts of the facility all the way up to the surface. You certainly don't want to fall down that shaft. After you. <laughs> machine. Let's look for the input. Look for things that seem complicated. Wait, 
that's it? You just need to press a button? Well, that's kind of underwhelming. Whatever. It's powering up. You'll soon see what this beast is capable of. We need to run a series of checks. Um, there should be a cube arriving near you any second. Please put that into the specimen chamber on the left. Okay, starting first test on an inanimate object. If all goes well, the cube will be teleported to the other chamber. Oh, please work. Starting first jump, now! It worked. It actually worked. That's very good. See, while low-tech devices like your handheld portal device need to place physical portals to achieve teleportation, this little guy can instantly swap any two volumes of space in the whole universe. We design entire test chambers around not being able to shoot portals through walls, while this thing just bypasses our three-dimensional plane. Anyway, let's recycle that cube. Gotta clean up after ourselves. I hate to break it to you, but there is one more test we need to pass. First comes inanimate, then animate. Please enter the specimen chamber. All right, sorry, but to start with the test, you'll have to temporarily resign as janitor. No worries, I'll rehire you after the test, but I need a registered test subject to continue. Good, we're almost there. Thank you for doing this for us. Well. Time to put an end to the collapse. Let's rebuild the central core. Oh, right. You probably know her as GLaDOS. It's about time we bring her back, don't you think? That monster spread her parts all over the facility. Even the parking lot. No way in hell I could get her back together without this machine. Time to start the test. See you on the other side. What are you doing in there? Get out of there! I can't turn it off! You're back. I thought I lost you. I can fix this. I know I can. Just give me a second. It actually worked! I almost fixed it! I'll try to get you out of this spaceship loop. Gotta be quick about this before you leave again. Get ready.
to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. How was that? Okay, good. <clears throat> the fact you're standing here tells me that you want to help us revolutionize the world, just like we have for over 30 years. Wrong draft? This one? Lunch at 10. Wait, where are you going? Are we not finishing my part? We're rolling? Okay. All right, we're trying something different with this test. If you've worked in device development, then you'll know what this is already. But if you don't, that will actually give us better data. So just have fun with it. It shouldn't be able to hurt you. Everybody who didn't read the introductory guidebook about pneumatic diversity events. All pneumatic diversity events in test chambers have been calibrated to a maximum capacity of 60 kilograms to prevent most humans from being sucked up and disposed of. If your body mass happens to be under 60 kilograms, extra caution is advised. Heads up, the following test chambers may not include pre-recorded messages like these in order to measure how test subjects behave in environments lacking human contact. Good luck!
We done? What? Oh! Hey! What's happening here? Where am I? What the? Who are you? What's going on here? Where are my hands? No, this can't be possible, can it? Okay, let's do this properly. Sorry for my freak out. I will explain what just happened, but let's get out of here first. Can you pick me up? Thanks. There's a hub not far from here. Let's go there. By the way, where is everybody? Is the office closed? And what is a test subject doing here anyway? That's really dark. Light switch anywhere? I mean, we don't have to go through there, do we? I completely understand if you would rather find another way if you're scared of the dark. No shame in that. It's just the absence of light, right? What reason would anyone have to develop a phobia for it? Can't find another way through. Hmm? I may have an idea. Let me try something. It worked! That's crazy! I still don't like this plan, but here we go. Wandering through the office after working hours with a stranger and nothing more than a flashlight. Listen, I'm sorry for... Oh, I'm so sorry. My bad. I didn't mean to overexpose your eyes. Okay. Wait, what happened here? Look out the window, please. All right. Trying not to panic again. Can you tell me what year it is? Oh, you don't know either? Guess we're in the same boat then. Let's try to get this door open. Stick me on that plug in the wall. I'll see what I can do. Got it. Woo! None of this used to be here. How long was I out for? It must have been decades. I don't really know where we're going now. Oh, let's try and find a management rail. Then I can access the whole network. Elevator. Sure. What's the worst that could await us up there? Actually, you don't want to know. Can I ask you something real quick? What portal device model is that? Doesn't look like any of the ones I've seen before. Looks cool though. Design team did a good job. Engineering too. Very slim fit. Oh, a rail! We found one! Whoa, feels weird. This will take some getting used to. Thank you, test subject. I hope I don't intrude if I join you for a bit while I try to get a sense of what happened to me, the facility, and you. Again, I'm sorry for my erratic introduction. I'm Amelia Conley, and I work in Aperture's research group for artificial intelligence. Well, I did. Until now. See, my main contributions were in the field of brain scanning, and it seems like one of my old scans just got loaded into this robot. I knew the risks of this happening. We enforced strict backup removal routines so we wouldn't accidentally clone our minds. But here we are struggling to hold back the panic now? I read the records of what happened while I was out. Everyone is dead. All of them. And it's my fault. See, I worked on her. I created the genetic life form and disc operating system just like Cave wanted. Well, my human self did. I have no memory of this, but the records are clear. Carolyn never consented to be scanned in. But somehow they must have found a way around that. I need to process this for a bit and figure out what to do now. See you in a bit.
it's not been long. Just wanted to be polite. Just remembered that I never asked what you're doing here. Let's just try to get out of here. This isn't a good place to be around anymore. aren't normal here. What is that? Be there in a moment. Haven't been here in a while. Wow, this hasn't changed a bit. Ah yes, the boring presentation room. For some reason, the presentation rooms were assigned special roles. This is the boring one, where only real mannequins? Hmm. I worked next to the presentation room of danger. Well, that's its nickname. What they pitched there is shocking at first, but it didn't take me long to get numb to it. No hands, only handles. Finally! Can't stop thinking about the android body. I wonder if they finished developing those. See that? Better move upwards before that happens again. I believe this might be an old, dangerous teleportation experiment. Here we've got ourselves the... <clears throat> Aperture Science Non-Local Matter Displacement Device. <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Our team affectionately dubbed it the Spire. Adds a bit of pizzazz to it, right? It was developed as a successor to the Borealis experiments from the 70s, but I've never seen it with my own eyes. Well, I've still not seen it with my eyes. Unless digital cameras count. Better get going. Let's find a way up to the surface. That's where we'll find the control room. This will sound stupid, so just bear with me. 
Garbage disposal tubes generate much more force than the ones in test chambers. Should be able to carry you. If you jump into this tube, I will route you through to the upper layers of the facility. Maybe hold your breath. This is as far as I can get you. Damn it, that's barely halfway. Well, looks like we have to go the long way. Sorry. I'm going to research this spire thing while you solve the chambers. internal documents for the spire, which is 20 megabytes large. How did they figure out how to fit all that on a single drive? I read up on the spire. One thing that puzzles me, how did it get activated? It's been dormant for decades and suddenly it just kicks itself into action? Whoever it was must have really upset it. was again! Did you see? The Spire is stealing resources from down here as part of its power-up sequence. I don't think it presents an immediate threat to us, but something just feels off. Aperture likes to poke around at anything, no matter how dangerous it is. The fact they discontinued this experiment doesn't really fill me with emotions I would categorize as positive. Did you know that Aperture simulates breathing and blinking in its sentient robots? I still have a sort of subconscious reflex to breathe and blink my eye, even though that's not technically necessary. Turns out the human mind doesn't cope well when those functions are removed. Be glad you didn't volunteer for our early mind mapping tests. Those were not good times to be a test subject. So, to recap. GLaDOS killed all humans and then got killed herself by a test subject. And what happened since? Why is there nobody here? Did nobody come to investigate this place? Forget about the government. Why does Black Mesa have no interest in what happened here?
done, test subject. No. Turn you it off. have just completed I another they threw test. Away. Congratulations on contributing once again to the future of Why is it science. So loud? Feel welcome Turn to pause off. at Turn any moment. There's cake and beverages Turn in the break it room. Off. Looks like I turned myself off. Yeah. I dabbled in voice acting when I first joined the company as an intern. That was so long ago. Please, just forget everything you heard down there. I don't know if this is supposed to be a test chamber. If it is, our chamber budget has officially hit a new low. That wasn't a chamber. At least it gave me time to disable the speakers in the next chambers. We don't need to listen to that again. That looks more like a chamber. You know what? I actually remember this one. 
It's collected some dust, but looks pretty much unchanged. Most of our tests get updated when we find a critical design flaw. Seems like this one survived the test of time. I found us an elevator out of here. Just one more chamber. Last chamber. The surface elevator is right after. Just don't look down. Or fall down either. That shaft goes all the way to the bottom. Again. For my sake, please! You're gonna give me a heart attack. me up the elevator. We've done this before, so be ready to catch me. We're becoming quite good at this. Elevator is right through here. Quite cozy. I'm sure we can stuff ourselves in there. Never thought I'd miss the car park. We're almost out of here. Um, that's not the surface. Is the elevator stuck? I found you! Who's that now? I was quite worried where that teleporter could have left you. At least you didn't suffocate on a wall, so that's good. Tell you what, why don't you come back and join me here in the spire? Charging up the teleporter as we speak to continue our mission, you so rudely interrupted. What mission? Oh, who's your little sidekick? Cute. You can join us if you want. Join you? With what? We just want to repair the facility. I will pick up the remains of our former central core, reassemble her, and bring her back to life. Wait, who are you talking about? Are you talking about GLaDOS? You want to bring back GLaDOS? That's what the humans call her, yes. Whoa. And that is why you gotta switch your capacitors. So that's the sort of guys you normally hang out with. Did you work with him? Oh, I shouldn't have looked. Oh, solid ground at last. 
Put me on the rail over there. I'll open the door for you. Right, so you're the one who activated the spire. I... I should have seen that coming. Is he really trying to bring back GLaDOS? He's right about one thing, though. The facility is already barely holding together, and that won't change unless we put someone in charge of the central core. But why her? Why doesn't he just take the crown for himself? I don't blame you for helping him. You didn't see what she did. I mean, neither did I. But the records are disturbing. Took her less than a second to seal the fate of every human in the Enrichment Center. I'll never understand why we gave her that neurotoxin. Just, I just wish I could go back, you know, and amend both mistakes. We might not see each other in the next test chamber. Whatever he says or has already said to you, we can not allow GLaDOS to return. Oh, is your little friend not gonna join us? Oh well, this only regards you anyways. I just wanna say thank you for bringing us this far. R really, I mean it. No one else could have pressed that button as well as you. say anything, I am going to accept your implicit apology for breaking the teleporter. Your portal device really caused a lot of havoc there. Don't worry, I'm not going to add the repairs to your list. I already got that covered. Hey, I've got a question. Your new little blue friend. Who is she? The voice seems familiar. Alright, you can't respond. Maybe you can introduce me to her when you come back.
I'm still charging up the teleporter. Your little accident used up all the teleportation juice. It's an actual liquid, by the way. Had to scramble together every last drop of gel from the bottom layers of the enrichment center to mix some new fluid. Finally found you again. I've got some news. He wants to use the unstable spire teleporter to put together GLaDOS, right? If we can go into the control room and cut power from the core, we have a real chance of preventing a catastrophic meltdown. meet after this elevator. I'll prepare an escape route for you that will take us straight to the spire. Meet you there. So, I have decided. You betrayed me. Twice. I have given you enough chances. Something tells me that your new little friend managed to turn you against me, so I'm just going to kill you. Now, before you become any sort of threat. Again, thank you for your help. You served us well. Now you might be thinking, but Sterling, Sterling might be- No, 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 D don't do that. Where are you going? Wait, did he say his name was Sterling? Hey, come back. I, I can't see you. I built a vacuum cleaner once. Called the little guy Sterling? Huh. Where do you think you're going? Ta-da! Spire. Think you can jump that gap? Meet you inside.
Over here. Come and grab me. No rails in the chamber. You ready for this? Welcome, ladies. Welcome to your demise. Let's get the preamble and get to it. Any last words? Yeah, I have some. Is it possible that you were once a vacuum cleaner? Um, how, how do you know that? <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, they grow up so fast. It's not polite to murder your mother. You're my... But, but how is that possible? I was created by a human. I can't believe my Roomba is trying to kill us. Yes, about that. The spire is still charging. Just give me a minute. I'll murder you as soon as possible. What did you even think by coming here? Thought you could just press a button to stop me? You mean this button? What button? Big and red, right in front of us. That's not a button. I ignore it. Don't look at it. What happens if we press it? Nothing. Don't press the button. It's really boring, believe me. I say we press it. Don't press it! All right. Before we press any buttons, can you put me on this claw in the corner? I have an idea. Good. Now that your hands are free, I say we give that button a little push while I explore this magnet. This button can only be pressed by authorized employees. That's one satisfying button. I told you not to press it. That's it. Time to die. Enjoy your last moments. You'll die in five minutes. The fight's on. We need to disconnect all of those pipes before the time runs out. Here, through this door. What are you doing? Do you really think that you can stop me? I... Whoa! This is wobblier than I thought. Find a way to get to this control room. Maybe this test chamber can help. You look ridiculous. Seems about adequate considering I'm fighting my own vacuum cleaner. Good, good, good. Now, inside. Come on, hurry. What do you expect to find in there? Think these chairs are gonna save you? No, but the button might. What would we use the chairs for? I mean, I can ask you the same about the buttons. I seem a little bit obsessed with those. Turret! Kill! 
He's in quite the murderous. The last one uh, is right. Pathetic. Come on, you can do this. No, you can't. Remember that brain damage test we did where you had to push a button? Turns out I was wrong. You must have brain damage. Why else would you do this to me? Ah, uh, don't listen to him. Kind of slept for that long, right? Right? Oh, maybe that's why you don't talk. That explains a lot. Oh, a red button. I have to press it because I'm just so brain dead that I need to stimulate my soggy brain with satisfying click sounds and tactile feedback. That's you, by the way, in case you didn't get it. Oh, I got it. Don't worry. I'm not talking to you! <laughs> dreams of rebuilding my home. Are you happy now? Proud of yourself? Look, we also want the best for Aperture, but we can't do that by reactivating GLaDOS. It's not right! You know what she did! What's going on? Uh... Oh my- No! Hi! Hello! Uh... Oh, I don't think you ever told me your name, did you? Look, I'm recording this on the off chance that you actually survive. You were badly wounded in the eruption. I tried what I could, but I've never seen anything like it. I'm a neuroscientist, all right? My expertise starts and ends at brains, not bodies. Look, the best I can do right now is to put you in stasis. It might help you heal, but yeah, it's not looking good. I'm sorry, okay? I don't know what to do now. The spy is broken, so we're just stuck on the moon. I guess this is goodbye for now. Just for now. Take care.